All right, here I am with the creator of this great event, the Echo Expo here. This is Mary Ann Taylor. Hi, Eric. Good to be here. Oh, what a great event. It's amazing, the turnout you got. I know. I can't believe it either. We've seen probably about 700 people so far, and we want to see a lot more. Oh, good. Now, this is just the first year. This is going to be going on for a while, right? Yes, it is. We have already have our dates for next year. We've got May 2nd and May 3rd for next year. Tell us about all the different um, people that are here today. Oh, we have over 60 vendors. We've got electric vehicles. We've got plants, plants, and more plants. Everything is drought-tolerant, water-saving plants. We've got backyard bees, we've got honey, we've got lavender, we've got so many things here today. It's unbelievable. So mm -hmm. we need to see you out here and come shop and play. Now, you didn't do all this by yourself. You had a crew that was helping you, right? Name some of the people that are helping you out with this. Oh, my board of directors. If it wasn't for them, Karen Crocker, Moselle Sukit, Carolyn Snyder, Jenny Kerr, my daughter, Claire Taylor, amazing. So, no, it's been many hands, a lot of volunteers, mm -hmm. and just just amazing. And your son Harrison is actually on that group too, right? Yes, he is. Harrison is also on our board and he's also a sponsor mm -hmm. and he has been a great help and it's been wonderful. Right. And then for those of you folks in other parts of the county that don't realize this, realize this, Mary Ann is married to John Taylor and John Taylor was last year's mayor yes. here in San Juan Capistrano. Yes. He's still on the city council and so you've done all kinds of things for this community over the years. We have. Our family is definitely has the motto of being a volunteer. So I actually have run the volunteer group Grow Native Therapeutic Gardens and we take care of the Los Rios Park and we've created butterfly habitats. So mm. and we have done a lot of things in the schools to volunteer and we've just done a lot of community volunteerism. Well there you have it, one of the great people in South County that give back Mary Ann. It was a treat. Congratulations on an amazing success. Looking forward to next year. Thank you so much. All right, good job. So what do you see, Kat? Bush tits. I beg your pardon? Bush tits. A small flock of, of birds that feed in uh, oak trees or any other tree for that matter, and they feed all day long. All right, you have me worried there. <laughs> this is Cat Waters, and you are a bird expert of sorts, right? Yes. Tell us about what your title and what you're called and how you got to be an expert. Well, I'm uh, a, a, a board member of Western Field Ornithologists. We study birds in the field, and I built with my husband, an urban wildlife sanctuary. Oh, excellent. that actually uh, draws birds, right? That's right, and it's it's in our yard. It's oh. it's no we didn't we didn't acquire new territory. We built it where exactly where we live. And where do you live? Downey, California. Ah, in Downey, really? Yes. A bird sanctuary in Downey. I had no idea. On the flats of urban Los Angeles. What yes. kind of birds do you attract there? Uh, 117 species of birds have come through our yard at this point in time. Can you name a couple of species that uh, we might not realize are there, or oh. or the, some of the common ones? Well, western tanagers and Townsend's warblers and. Uh, Bush tits, of course, come every day to the uh, to the sanctuary. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, white crowned sparrows. Mm. Just uh, any? Do you get any swallows? Yes, we do. We live in between two rivers, and they come and collect mud from where we water. Oh, yeah, I'll but say. they don't nest on our property. Oh, great! Now, uh, since you've been here today, did you spot any swallows out here? Yes, I did. Oh, that's right. that's <laughs> They're right. using the river right over here, right. and they. Obviously, they go to Mission San Juan Capistrano, but the swallows are a big part of this area. Oh, outstanding. All right. Now, everybody's been plugging a book. Do you have a book or anything that you need to plug, Kat? Well, you know, if I was going to plug a book, it would be a book called Wild at Heart that was written literally about this area right here and one of the very first sanctuaries in native plant gardens that went in in San Juan Capistrano. And it was by the students at Ambule Elementary School. Oh, no kidding. The kids at Ambule. Excellent. And they wrote the book. And they wrote the book. They wrote the book with the help of one of their teachers, Donna Gould. Oh, outstanding. And so I would, that, it, that would be what I would plug. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Well, it was a treat uh, meeting you, Kat, and uh, hearing about what you do out there. And uh, we're, we're going to hear you speak in a little bit. So uh, thanks for coming out today. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Oh, Thank excellent. you. Well, this is Eric with a C talking to Eric with a K. This is Eric Cutter, and he's the managing director of Alegria Farms, which is at the Great Park in Irvine. Uh, tell us a little bit about what your expertise is. Well, I'm a biochemist and oncologist by training. Mm -hmm. um, I have a very strange skill set in that I'm also a chef, and I can grow plants with the best of them. Ah, very good. Uh, excellent. So tell us a little bit about what your mission is with, uh, um, it's called Urban... Urban farming. Um, we are embarking on a program to actually build high-performance urban farms within the densely populated urban environment. We're trying to bring food much closer to people where they work and live. Outstanding. Wow. What got you into all this uh, as a career, Eric? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, long story short, we had a little uh, problem with the family and one of uh, my, my 
bro brother's boys, my nephew, had a kidney failure, and it was due to too much salt oil and sugar in the diet, and that kind of kicked me into gear to, to use my strange skill set to uh, teach people how to grow their own food, how to grow superior nutrient-dense food, and how important it was to consume what we call healing foods. Mm. Which is uh, which we're most of the food nowadays in the food chain is is very deficient in many vitamins and minerals, and um, that's part of the problem that you, the reasons that are causing all this increase in chronic diseases. Mm. Wow, outstanding! So you're not just growing plants; you're saving lives. Well, I don't know if I'm saving lives yet, but I can sure make your life better. I can make you feel a lot better, you know, and give you a ton more energy. Oh, gosh. It was a treat getting to meet you and uh, talk to you, pleasure. sir. And we're going to see you on stage in a bit. Oh, thank you very much. All right. Thanks for opportunity. I'm here with some Girl Scouts and some Youth Advisory Girls, and they have something to tell you. Don't flutter away. We'll be right back.